Hello everyone, continuing the series of the weekly contest 283. Here is the first question in the list which is cells in the range of an excel sheet. Here in this question we are given a string and it has a particular format to it. The first character signifies the starting column value. The next character signifies the starting row value followed by a colon followed by ending column value followed by ending row value. What we need to do, we need to place elements starting from the starting row starting column up till ending row ending column and we need to return the output in the string format as highlighted here for this particular case. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation and let's conclude the approach. Cells in the range on an excel sheet lead code 2194, it's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Let's take a slightly different example to what was specified in the question. We have the string as a to d5. This is the starting character of the column. This is the starting row. So s r s c starting column starting row end. Uh, so this is end column fi and finally we have end row. And we need to build our matrix starting from the starting row starting column up till ending row ending column. So let's get started. We have the second row and the value there should be a2 at the second row followed by a3 followed by a4 followed by a5. So we, we are going to traverse the data in column wise fashion starting from the ath character then we'll move on to the bth one then c then d. So let's write it up. We, we, we have built in a2, a3, a4, a5 then let's shoot for the column b. We'll go for b2, b3, b4 and b5. Let's shoot for the next one. Here we will go for c, c2, c3, c4 and c5. In the end we are going, going we'll go for d2, d3, d4 and d5. This is what the question has asked us to do and we will iterate in column wise fashion. Then we will move on to the row wise filling each entry one by one. The time complexity of this approach would be order of n into m where n signifies the number of rows, m signifies the number of columns. The space complexity is also the same. Let's quickly hop onto the coding section and conclude the approach. Here I have extracted starting column, starting row, ending column, ending row and we can use it uh, statically, the index is statically. The 0th one will signify the start column, the first one will signify the start row, the third one will signify the end column and the fourth one will signify the end row. Also why have, not, have I not taken the second index because it's colon as per the question. Let's proceed ahead and what I'm gonna do, I'll have created the answer list here. I start iterating in the column wise fashion, then I iterate in row wise fashion and add my character and the current element, the index value, uh, the row on which I'm iterating. I create a new string corresponding to it and add it to my answer. With each iteration, I increment the character value for the next column. So this is for column, this is for row. Pretty simple and straightforward. Let's try this up, accept it. This brings me to the end of today's session, but stay tuned. I'm gonna solve more questions of the weekly contest. Thank you.